All right, boys and girls, time to add color to our tree frog. I want you to notice the orange feet. I want you to notice his red eyes. And also over on this one right here, look at his white belly. Okay, those are, some, those are three things we need to remember when we're coloring in our tree frog. Now, um, the first thing we wanna do is get a green. Okay, I just got regular green. You can get any shade of green you want, any tint, color, whatever. And um, lightly, we're gonna color half the legs don't do his feet half the leg don't do his feet now when I say half don't color the top half I mean Miss Cunningham please color the top half don't color the bottom half color the top half of all of his legs now don't do his feet I have to tell myself that don't do his feet and Miss Cunningham look I did this and I did this so that I can show you there's no mistakes in art I don't wanna hear, oh, I messed up, I need a new paper. It's all right, it's all right. I promise you when we get done, no one is even gonna see that what I call a mistake and that what I call a mistake, I promise you. Okay, so we're coloring very lightly, lightly pre light pressure on our crayon. And then up here on the face, we're gonna do around the outside of the frog's face. Now this is only after you've traced your frog with permanent marker. Okay, lightly, light, 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 light. Don't trace your tree. I know I did, but don't trace your tree. Do what Miss Cunningham says, not what I do. All right, next we need another color green. I'm gonna go with this one. What is this called? I love reading the crayon colors. Forest green, yes, perfect. Okay, with the forest green, we're gonna fill in the middle of the frog. Now we're adding a little bit more pressure the middle of the face. We can go over what we've already done with a little bit more pressure. Just color it in, fill in all the white. Get over here by his eyeball. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to fill in his pupil. Let me go get my permanent marker color in his pupil. Oops. And this one, I want to make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Let's take our green and color back over what we've done here. Now we're pressing a little bit harder. Don't color the foot, Miss Cunningham. Okay, I won't. Press a little bit harder. Cover up all the white. Remember, only half. Except for right there, where I did it on accident. Where I said, I messed up. No, I didn't mess up. That green just wanted to live right there. That's fine. I'll just have to make do with it. All right, we're pressing a little bit harder over here with the green. Okay. Now we need a blue. I'm gonna get this color blue. What is this called? Sky blue. Yeah, that's sky blue. That's pretty. Or you could get this blue. Turquoise blue. Turquoise blue is fun. Okay. So, with the turquoise blue, I am going to color the bottom half of the leg. You don't have to use turquoise blue, boys and girls. Any color blue you want. Probably even do yellow if you wanted to. Okay, I'm pressing sorta of hard because I'm pressing hard because I want the green and the blue to kind of blend together, okay? Okay, over here. Oh, we gotta get this part of his leg. Get his little foot. Oh, not that part of the foot. Get this part of his arm. I don't know, is that an arm? I just called it an arm. I don't think frogs have arms. I think they have just feet. Need to Google that. 
Okay, remember the white belly that, that I showed you earlier? Let's keep that white belly. Now let's just go very lightly around the edge of his belly like this, making sure that we're going up and down and not side to side. Up and down like this, not side to side. Up and down. This is going to give our belly some form. If we go side to side, it's going to... I mean, it might look okay, but I think the form adds better like this. Okay. Fill in all this white. If you want a smaller white section of the belly, you can just, you know, color that in like that. You're going to make your belly however you want to make your belly, however big you want to make your belly. Okay. Now, the feet are orange. Let me get an orange. The whole foot is orange. It's the sticky, the sticky pad. I wonder why their feet are orange. This project is giving Miss Cunningham a lot of questions in my brain. I hope one of you boys and girls can give me the answer to that. Why are red-eyed tree frogs' feet orange? I know that sometimes animals are certain insects are certain colors because they want to give the other insects or predators a warning sign. Don't eat me. I taste bad. See my bright color? But why just the tree frog's feet? Seems kind of strange. It seems like they wouldn't blend into their environment very well with orange feet. Okay. Now, last but not least, red. Now, we really do need the real red for this. We need real, regular old. Can you see that or is it blurry? I think it's blurry. Is it blurry? Is it blurry? Is it blurry? Yeah, it's blurry. Well, trust me, it's red. So, color in his eyeball red. And we are done.